What's going on guys, it's Cobblers Vlogs back with another video today. I am very happy to be reviewing the Northampton Town vs Newport County game. It was a 2-0 win to the Cobblers. Honestly, one of the best games I've ever seen. I wasn't at Plymouth, I was there today and I was so proud of how we played. So let's discuss how the game went. Well, where do I begin? Honestly, um, what, a, what a game. Um, it was like watching a different Northampton Town. You know, we go into the game with New not um, Newport 19 games and beaten six without conceding. Um, solid, very solid team. We uh, so they score early on offside, you know, and then we're like, Cobbers fans are like, here we go again. But it's a goal for Mandy Williams five minutes in. What a finish over the keeper, nearly cleared off the line. But that was really it for the first half. It was quite quiet. Um, we had a couple of chances there, a couple of chances, but it was kind of a solid. You know, 1-0 first half, second half approached us. Um, you know, it was very better, very better, a lot better. Um, we attacked strong. Uh, of course, the second goal, Charlie Gibb brought it down, drove, continued drive into the edge of the end, uh, penalty box, played it to uh, Chris Lyons, squared across goal, Hoskins, 2-0. Um, and then late on, we had an opportunity for a third. It was a uh, debut for Kaja, I think I should pronounce it. Great ball from Nicky Adams. Trying to get himself assist, didn't work out. But, you know, the way we played, we done fantastically well. You know, the likes of Sean McWilliams, even though he came off with a knock, he was absolutely fantastic today. Um, Andy Williams, again, faultless. Charlie Good, Scott Wharton, solid at the back. You know, at the start, there was a couple of mistakes Scott Wharton made, like Hoskins. Uh, we felt quite edgy at the start, but as soon as we got into it, we did really put, you know, Newport in their place. Um, you know, they got sending off near the end of the game. <laughs> of course, all over Twitter, Charlie Good waving them goodbye. Um, we were just a fantastic side. We played really, really well. Um, and honestly, it was like watching different Northampton. You know, I wasn't at the Plymouth game, but Matt was. And, he, you know, there was so much praise. And, and I was so, you know, frustrated that I couldn't be there. Um, but today it was um, fantastic. But I think the one thing now is we have to do is when you look at Stevenage again on Tuesday night, a team who hasn't started well, that's the teams where we lose points to. So, you know, Keith Cole's got to keep that momentum and take it into Stevenage away. Uh, but honestly, you know, I couldn't have been proud of the Cobbers boys today. So on to Twitter reaction, make sure you use hashtag NTFC on Twitter if you want to be included in the next video. Starting off with Dave Harding. He said standard on on show today was poor, but a win but well, a win's a win, so no complaints have to back it up with at least four from the next two. You know it, it's hard to say, you know, the first half wasn't the greatest. We scored and that was really it. But the second half was, you know, very, very good. And I think that's kinda a poor kind of statement there. Um, because, you know, I felt we were fantastic today. Um, I haven't seen Cobbers play like that in ages. So, you know, fair play to the Cobbers for that. Um, of course, people are entitled to their own opinions. I'm not digging Dave Hyden for that. Um, but, you know, you can say kind of what you want, you know. Um, I was very pleased with the Cobbers today. Uh, but, you know, again, you can say, you know, the game first half was kind of scrappy. But at the end of the day, three points is three points for the Cobblers. I don't think me or Dave or any Cobblers fan would have minded three points today. Paul Alexandra said, fair play. I hope we can recreate this sort of performances again and again. But my personal belief in the team, and specifically the manager's ability to do this, is not there yet. But today, well done. Three points up the Cobblers. That statement is 100% agreed. You know, we've played fantastically well today. We played fantastically well against Plymouth. We lose to Bradford. We played fantastically well today. We're going to lose against Stevenage. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't want to say that, but that's literally how Cobblers is. I hope we don't. Um, I should be going down, so hopefully I'll, you know, reviewing and previewing that game. But um, we shouldn't lose. I hope we don't, but that's a, this is the sort of Cobblers thing. We beat these high teams, lose to the bottom teams. Uh, and if Keith Cole wants to be up there, we've got to start playing. Well, one more, uh, Lee Wade said, excellent home performance again by the Cobblers, very professional and composed across the park. Newport offered nothing. And I 100% agree, Newport wasn't good today. Um, you know, maybe an off day, ended their unbeaten streak. Last time they lost against us, lost against us. It's the Cobblers for you. Um, but make sure you use hashtag NTFC if you want to be used against, on oh, sorry, in the Stevenage video. Um, we use, we probably do three or four. If you specifically want yours to be mentioned, just tweet us uh, and we'll let you, we'll let you do it. Because we, we usually just, you know, look on Twitter and pick uh, kind of three random ones. So that's your guys, Twitter reaction. Now onto match ratings. Um, you know, I've done these, you know, 
everyone deserves a 10 out of 10, but we'll do the match ratings properly. Um, so I gave Cornell a 6 out of 10, simply because he had nothing to do. Uh, it was quite quiet for him in the net, no real tested shot to him. Uh, Harry Mann, the new right back, I gave a 6, he put some good balls in. Again, he didn't really do much, he didn't really have much to do, so, you know, I gave him a 6, so, you know, a good performance of him, sorry. Um, Scott Wharton, I gave a 7, he was solid today, made a couple of errors at the start, but I think he... Um, you know, rectified his mistakes uh, and had a solid game at the end. Uh, Charlie Good, Cobbler's his man of the match today, I gave an 8. He was absolutely solid today. Um, every ball he won, um, and even when the play got sent off, he waved goodbye. Uh, he was calm and composed, and he was he was absolutely solid today. Uh, Joe Martin, again, a 6 again, like Harriman. Um, he kind of made some good, good some, sorry, put some good balls in, but again, there wasn't much for him to do. Um, Jordan Tamil, again, a 7. He was absolutely... Um, you know, he was absolutely, I don't know, you know, I'm speechless because of how well we played today. Um, John Tabble was just solid. Um, he really um, moved the ball around nicely. Uh, had a couple of shots as well. He had just kept driving. He had that passion to get to the end of that ball, uh, try and get a corner or whatever. You know, really good. I like Tambo as well because he played, um, we played like a 4 1 2 3. So I think that's what we played. Um, and Tam will play kind of in front. So if we need to drop him back or whatever. So I thought he really adapted well to that role. Uh, Sean McWilliams gave an 8 because I thought he was absolutely fantastic today. Ran the midfield, and when he came off, it was you know a real shame. Uh, Chris Lyons again a seven two, got an assist, um, made a couple of dodgy passes at the start of the game, but like uh, Scott Water, rectified his mistakes and had a great end to the game. Uh, Nicky Adams again a seven two, he you know we had opportunities to get assists, players just didn't score their chances, uh, and we can get Nicky up and running this season. Uh, Sam Hoskins, I gave a seven two, you know we got himself a goal. Um, he wasn't as good as his lucky was at Plymouth, but he got himself a goal. He did play well. A fair play to Sammy and Andy Williams gave a seven and a half two. He done fantastically well again. Done the graveyard shift uh, and he was really, really uh, solid. Got the goal again. Uh, subs Kaja, I think that's to pronounce him. Make sure you comment below how you pronounce his name. I gave a six two. Could have scored on his debut. Unlucky for him. Harry Smith, I gave a six two. He came on, made himself a bit of a nuisance. But again, didn't really have much time. And uh, Matty Warburton, I just didn't give a rating to because he didn't have enough time. But thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm so happy, you know, we've won a fantastic game of football. We've played fantastically well in the game of football. Um, and I'm really, really excited for Stevenage, which I will be attending. I'm not sure whether me or Matt are going to do the video. I'm 100% going. So if, of course, Matt can't go, I will be doing the video. But make sure you guys like the video. Hashtag NTFC um, to be featured in the Stevenage video. Um, I hope you guys have a great weekend because... That win has definitely made my weekend so much better. So thank you guys for watching. See you later.